Yo you guys, what is going on? Joshua Carter here, also known as Ecom Josh Carter. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys and talking about what are eBay sales accounts. So without any further ado, hit the sub button, hit the like button, and let's get into the video. So basically, what we're gonna be talking about is, you know, eBay sales accounts. What are they and you know how you can use them to your advantage to sell more on eBay to make more money. So most people stick with one eBay account, um, but what you can do is you can also make a second account. And with that second account, you know, you can, you know, list more products, make more money both ways using the algorithm. So when you list, when you make a second account, eBay know both accounts have been, you know, been made and they link them. They know this through, you know, the IP address, the cookies, your phone number and your address, which is fine. So we don't, it's fine if they know that. And this is really beneficial, you know, if your first account is doing really well, it will increase the selling limits. So then when you make your second account, the selling limits are also going to be higher on there. Whereas if you make a new, like, you know, on your first account, you're not going to be able to sell as much. But if you have a second account, you know, from the first account that's done well, you're going to be able to sell more. And the multiple accounts policy, let's go talk about that. So it's a policy. It says, you know, that you can do this. It says here, we don't allow managers to create new accounts to get, you know, around selling limits or restrictions. So this is where the stealth account comes in. So if you've been banned, if you've been suspended and stuff like that, then this is where stealth accounts come in and they're really clutch because they do so well. And um, and as you can see here, it says, yes, you can use the accounts in whatever works best for you. You know, buying and selling policies apply to, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's possible you can use multiple accounts, but if you get banned, you can't, you know, use your address again. We're gonna show you how to use the stealth accounts to, you know, basically be able to sell on eBay with no issues. So. Let's just say you get banned, whether it's temporary or permanent. eBay will ban all your linked accounts. If you start another account, it's gonna get banned. And now you might be thinking, you know, how do you sell on eBay if you've been banned? Stealth accounts, they're key. Not many people talk about it. Um, and the, benef the benefits of these are, you know, they're good if you're banned or, you know, you like to run different experiments on your stores. So say, for example, you might have all your normal linked accounts and you have a stealth account on the side you can test risky stuff, you know, whether that's listing a bunch of, you know, retail products on there or, you know, listing a lot of branded products with branded pictures and descriptions. That's where these, the, you know, these stealth accounts really come in clutch. Um, as I said, as you can see in the points here, you know, it's good to try risky things on and it spreads out the risk. So you might be scared of being banned, you know, you might be sleeping, you might wake up to being banned. But if you have, you know, say your normal account with a linked one, you have two there and then a stealth account, you have three accounts. The stealth account is uh, separate from the other one, so whichever one gets banned, you're still going to be safe either way. Um, and you know, as we say, you know, eBay doesn't allow this. You know, they still like eBay doesn't allow this at all. But that's why it's called a stealth account. Um, what I normally do, and what I normally teach as well, is to focus on one store, and that is super key. Um, you know, growing it, but then also you can use the stealth account to test it, test things. You know, so what I did was, you know. I tried this stealth account method for six months um, and I wanted to see like, you know, what happened. So all my accounts got banned and I'm going to share why my account got banned, but my stealth account didn't. My stealth account did not get banned because it has a separate address. It doesn't have anything to do with, you know, my other details on the normal accounts, the linked accounts. The stealth account was perfectly fine. And I'll tell you why my account got suspended. So basically I didn't upload tracking numbers to the orders. I basically texted to the customers and eBay want you to upload, even though eBay say, you know, you don't have to upload track numbers, upload them. It's just going to, you know, increase your selling limits, it's going to increase your trust and don't do what I did. So I got it suspended, but I also got it back. So if you guys want to learn how I got that account back, drop a comment down below. Um, also hit the like button as well, it's free. You know, I'm providing free value every single week. So if you haven't subscribed as well, might as well hit that as well. But yeah, stealth accounts, they're key. So. Just to recap, this was a short little video, but I really hope this helped if you have been banned or suspended on eBay. So as I said, have your normal account, maybe, and make a second account. So you have two there, and then the stealth account. Separate address, separate name, separate email. Nothing to do with your normal details. And that's gonna really give you the best chance to be able to sell on eBay with that stealth account. And as it may not be allowed on eBay, I've tested this and it's working. It's working for me and you can sell you know and test out a bunch more things that's awesome you know you can try risky stuff on the other accounts or on the stealth account or your linked one and you're going to be fine so you're going to know what works and what doesn't work so then when you go to that one account that you want to sell on 
you can definitely understand, you know, what you have to do. And also, if you want to, you know, grow all stores, then you can, you know, pick which one you want to focus on, and then you can try the risky stuff on the other store. So that's an awesome tip. And um, yeah, like I said, it spreads out the risk. So I really hope this video helped. Ecom Josh Carter signing out. Hit the like, hit the sub. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Really hope this helped. Peace.